Okay, Octel Lucent 7750s. As you can see at the diagram here at the bottom, we have uh, two 7750s, 7750 SR1, 7750 SR2. System IPs, which are the loopback zeros, our backbone links between the 7750s, <clears throat> then our CE to PE links between our 7750s out to our 3725s. So we have a to-do list here of set system name, provision cards and ports, configure three router interfaces, set some static routes with the goal of being able to ping and trace route between 3725.1 to 3725.2. <clears throat> In this window here we have 7750 SR1, 7750 SR2, and the 3750s have been pre-configured. So we're going to start off here with configure system name 7750 underscore sr no oh, just sr underscore one you see the system name has changed has been updated <clears throat> now we're going to provision the cards and the ports first thing we'll do is show the card you'll see you have one card in slot one an iom3 xpb copy that into the buffer Go ahead and configure card one. Set the card type. Paste that in. Now we'll show the card. You'll see it has been provisioned and it is up. So now we'll look at the ports. You'll see no, there are no ports on slot one configured. So we'll go ahead and configure card one, MDA type, MDA number one, MDA type. If you do a tab, you'll be able to see all the completions that were that we have available. We'll go ahead and set that to M5, one gigabit, SFP, B. Now we'll show our cards. Sorry, we'll show our ports. Now you see we have our ports here. They're all admin down, port state of down. We uh, we'll get to that. We'll have to admin those up, the ones we need, and we're going to need down here from our diagram one 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 and one one three out to the thirty seven fifty. So we'll go ahead and configure port one one one. Do a quick info. You'll see it shut down. So we'll do a no shut on that, and we'll back up. And we'll do a port one one three. Quick info. Do a no shut. Do another info. There you go. Exit back out of that. Show port. Now you'll see that we have up up on 111 and 113. Now we'll move back over here. Configure three router interfaces. We have the system interface, which is equivalent to a loopback zero. And we're going to go with 1.1.1 slash 32. Then we're going to configure three router interfaces. One going to the other 7750 SR2 on the backbone. And then one router interface that will be linked to 113 going to the 3750.25. So we'll go ahead and show router interfaces. You'll see that we have a system interface, which is up, operationally down. So we'll go ahead and we'll configure that router interface system quick info go ahead and we'll add the address 1.1.1 slash 32 we'll back up and we'll call the backbone link to underscore 7750 sr2 underscore 2 underscore and we'll just say 111 just for a little further clarification of what this routed interface is connected to. Yeah. How about we put an interface on there? Interface. Copy that. Paste that down here. Try to save ourselves from typing. Do an info. 
go ahead and add the address you see from the diagram 192.168.0 do an info back up add another interface to the 3750 to underscore I mean the 3725 underscore one underscore one slash one slash three go ahead and add the address from the diagram 11.11.2 slash 24 info exit exit show router interface now you see that we have three interfaces with IPs system interface is up operational is up here we still have admin up operational down we need to <clears throat> assign the ports to the interface which we so what we'll do is we'll go back into interface to underscore 3725 pick your router interface to underscore 3725 we'll go ahead and assign the port 1113 do a quick info there we go. And we'll back up interface to underscore 7750 to port 111 exit all exit exit show router interface. And now look there, we have up and up. Now we'll go back over here. We're going to need some static routes. We'll just put uh, send a default route pointing over to the 7750R2. Look at our route table. Route table. See we have the two subnet routes and the local system route. Host route. Show router static routes. It's blank, so we'll go ahead and configure router static route. All zeros. Point that next hop to 192.168.0.2 and do a show static route, static route, show router route table, static route is in there. So we should be good to ping 11.11.11.1 .11 do a quick rapid five pings transmitted five pings received so let's hop over to the 3725 do a trace route to 11.11.1 .11 and there you have it reached our goal do a quick admin display and scroll through that just for sake of showing you the configuration there's a system name here's our card and our MDA here's our port configurations or those have been shut down and you have our router interfaces that we created the created the router interfaces assign the ports and the IP addresses here's our static route and that's it. Thank you very much.